Okay, just a reminder that this Google Meet is being recorded. So if you don't want to see yourselves, don't show yourselves, but feel free to chat your questions. Um, I'm going to go into present mode so that you guys can see my screen. Uh, we're at the home screen right now. Uh, up here, I put a new announcement. And I want you guys to know that for now on, I will not be doing daily announcements. I wanna prepare you guys for when we get back into uh, where we're meeting um, in school. Some of us are and some of us are not, but I will not have time to go through and do um, daily announcements. I'll put announcements on there for important things only. So make sure that you're always going to your week at a glance and you're looking at our requirements for the week. Okay, and this is our new week at a glance. So we're, this week we're working on our photo corrections. You guys are finishing your chapter one and two. Most of you are already done with this. That's fantastic. I have a few people that have still submitted their work incorrectly. Um, some people have even submitted their work where it hasn't been altered. So if you have Think you submitted it and you still have a zero. Um, I my last time that I updated the grade book was this morning. So um, if you did just a few minutes ago, then it's not going to show up yet. But check Canvas. Look at my messages. If I gave you a zero, then I explained what was going on and you can resubmit your work. So make sure you're looking at that. Um, today we're starting our first big creative projects. So if you look under here, under current projects, this is what we're working on. Um, we're working on our photo editing project. It's 50 points. It's going to take up the whole week and probably a little bit of next week. It's a portfolio of work. You're going to work on several assignments um, this week and a little bit next. And then you're going to submit six altered photos and also the before photos. So you'll have the before and afters. You're gonna put it all in a big portfolio and submit it to me. The due date, TBA, that means to be announced. To be announced. I will announce that. I'm gonna gauge and see um, how we're working, how much, if we're have running into any problems, if I need to extend the due date. So I'm gonna wait. I'll probably put the due date up here uh, by the end of the week. So this is really important that you're looking on here before you come to class, because you're gonna know from here on whether or not we're gonna have a Google Meet. So today, obviously we have a Google Meet. I put it in red because it's really important that we attend. It's always important that you attend, but um, today's the first day that I'm, I'm not necessarily gonna announce it through the announcements. Um, the announcements here will be changes, will be um, important things that people are forgetting, that kind of stuff. So make sure you're always checking that. Today, you're starting with this portfolio, the photo to editing project, and you're going to do the photo corrections portion of the photo editing project. Um, you'll do that today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're also going to work on color correction. We'll move on to the black and white and monochromatic. That's two projects. And you'll work on it Thursday, and then Friday we'll be doing the, the beautiful portrait portion of the photo editing project. Some people are still submitting their lesson um, one and two. If you are, make sure you're watching these videos on how to submit your work, okay? Because this is really going to help you with submitting your work correctly. All right, any questions about that week at a glance? And then late work. And some of you that have been attending Google Meets every day, this is all review. I've, I've talked about this a million times, um, but late work is right here. So creative projects, let's go to the home page. So far, you guys have been accessing your book lessons here, and now we're moving over here to our creative projects. So if you click on this, one of the things that I want you to be aware of is that um, throughout the year, or throughout the semester, you'll have big creative projects, okay? And these are all links to our creative projects. Today, we're starting with the photo editing. So we're going to click on here. And the requirements for this uh, photo editing or photo manipulation project is that you have lesson one and lesson two finished. 
that you are going to use some personal photos. You're going to save um, those photos in your stock photos folder on your personal drive, uh, which is on either on your computer or your Google Drive, okay? Um, I put this video on here. This is really, um, you're gonna use this video at the very end. It's how we, sub how we submit our creative projects. Um, but here is our rubric. That's really important, this rubric. I'm not gonna go over that a whole lot, but I just want you to be aware that it's right here. Um, the first video for your photo corrections will have you look at this. So make sure you know how I'm gonna be grading each and every single one of all of these assignments, okay? And this is where you're gonna know where to get that. Okay, so I have a question of what do you mean by personal photos? You're gonna use your own photos for this project. That's your personal photos. Does that make sense? So can we... Katina, you were cutting out a little bit. Oh, so can we use like any photo? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll explain that more. The individual projects, like our photo correction, you need to find a photo that has unwanted details. So I write here, I said manipulate one photo that contains unwanted detail. So any of your photos that has something in there that you don't want. It could be a light switch on the wall or um, it could be a hole in the wall or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything big. Um, but I, I'll, I'll show you more examples of that. So your color correction, you'll manipulate one photo that has overall or bad color. I know you guys have probably taken pictures where it had bad color, especially pictures that are done on stage, old photos. You can take one of your um, family's old photos, like from the 70s or 60s or whatever, if you have one that has yellowed over time, because sometimes old photos will yellow. You can take a picture of that photo and use that. Um, so the descriptions will go on and tell you what kind of photos you need. Make sure you always pay attention to my my disclaimers here. This is this video talks about having work saved in your H drive. Remote learners, you will be using a drive on your personal computer or laptop that you're using or your Google Drive to save your works. Uh, when I say H drive, that's because I gave this, I made this video when students were still in school. Um, when I say H drive, I mean your computer graphics folder that you made on your device. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Um, do not save your work in your downloads. That's a good way to lose everything. Okay, so let's click on the first project. This right here, the photo corrections. Another disclaimer, it says, you will not have a student G drive or stock photos folder. This video tells you to go to the stock photos folder and I have, video, I have folders saved in there, or pictures saved in there. You're not going to use that. You're going to use your own photo. This is my photo, and I've got stuff in, on my door that I want to take out, like little scratches in the paint. Um, same thing. You know, I won't have stock photos for you to use. Um, use personal pictures for this project. And then it says, before you start, make sure that you created a creative project folder on your personal drive and your computer graphics folder. So look at this little picture right here. The very beginning, lesson one, I had you guys make a folder over here that's your computer graphics folder. Now inside that folder, you're gonna have two more folders. You're gonna have a book lessons folder and a creative project folder. So when I say, um, create a creative project folder, you're gonna save it in your computer graphics folder that you made earlier in the year, okay? 
This video explains how to do lesson one, or not lesson one, I'm sorry, your photo correction. Um, let's see, make sure you save your before and after. I talk about that. And let's see, you will also, in your creative project folder, you're going to make a folder called Altered Photos Project. And that's what you're going to save all this work in. This is what you're going to do, which is basically you learned how to do all of this in lesson one. Okay, I go through all of that in this video. And then this is an extra little web resource that tells you how to use content aware because content aware could be a little confusing. So this resource will tell you about it goes through and takes out the seagull. That's the before that they're doing it. And that's the after. Okay. So um, what questions do you guys have for me? So when it's a personal like we can't, that means we can't use anything from like um, Google or anything like that. It has to be like a photo we find in our house. It could be a photo on your phone. Um, it could be a photo that you have like saved on your computer. The problem with using photos from Google, just random photos, is that, let me go back here. And that's a good question because I had people in my last class ask me the same question. So if I go back to your creative assignments, you could probably find a photo on Google for this portion, the photo correction. But for color correction, most of the photos that you find out there are not going to have bad color. You're going to, I'm bare, you're barely going to notice a difference when you do this project. Um, so I'd rather you guys use your personal stuff, especially when it comes to beautiful portrait and your black and white monochromatic. I mean, just go, you could take a photo, just a random photo on your phone and use it, download it to your computer. Okay. Okay. This scaling and content aware, we'll get to that, but you're going to need a, need a photo with a very simple background to take this photo, to mm -hmm. do this project. Okay. Okay. Any other questions about anything? No. <laughs> you guys ready to go work on your own? Yes. Okay. I'm going to um, stop recording.